today, this morning, we're at the uh, Arlington Cemetery. So we're going to see what we can find here. And I think one of the first places we're going to visit is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So we'll be heading that way. Okay, so you come in, you go through security, and then you can have a choice of taking the walkway. We're headed to the Unknown Soldier now, so we're headed to the walkway, and uh, there's also a trolley you can take if you like. We'll let you know when we get there. There's the trolleys over there. And by the way, there is a charge for the trolleys. I think it was six or seven dollars a person. But we're not going to be spending a whole lot of time here, so it probably wouldn't be worth it for us to travel around. We got to head our way on toward Kentucky today. This is the main gate to come in. Remember when we were here years ago, we were able to drive through the cemetery. But events since then have stopped that. So now you either have to take the trolley or you have to walk. It's amazing how in line all the graves are, regardless of what direction you look. flag is flying at half mass. I don't know if it does that all the time or if there's something particular reason. I guess you could buy different stones up here. I guess so. It appears that they're taking pressure sprayers and cleaning off all the tombstones. That's pretty cool. Look at these fat little guys. <laughs> pretty well. Well, we're almost there. I guess we've walked about what? <laughs> Seems like a half a mile maybe. But but the 
the tomb is right up there at the top of the hill. Today it's cool. Compared to yesterday, I think they had a record breaker here, 91 or something. It was hot yesterday. Unlike this morning, very cool. This is the Arlington Memorial Amphitheater. It's right behind the, un the tomb of the unknown soldier. And it's, it's a large area. I'm sure they have special events here from time to time. Well, just up the steps from the grave of the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, there was this little museum that had the flags and the, some artifacts and some medals of different countries, and it was kind of interesting. Well, this guy, I don't remember his name, and I apologize for that, but he was very helpful. He uh, told us about the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers of the Civil War. This is the uh, James Tanner Amphitheater. It was the original amphitheater until they built a new one that I showed you the picture of earlier. Well, this is the tomb of the unknown soldiers of the Civil War. Um, I didn't know this was here. Never heard it before until that gentleman had told us about it. But there's... Uh, over 2,000 soldiers that were gathered up over a period of a year to three years and they had just been laying on the ground and they gathered them all up put them in this one grave and this is the marker for the 2,000 I think it's 111 soldiers that are in this grave so something if you may not have seen before you will want to go and take a look at Anyway, you don't really think about it, but uh, 
there's soldiers in this graveyard that goes as far back as Revolutionary War, maybe even further. Well, this is the grave of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy and the First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Well, this wall that uh, you see here has quotes of John F. Kennedy, and this, especially this one right here, is probably the most famous that I remember. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us today. We really had a good time. See our little friend darting in and out of the hole there. Um, yeah, we're uh, fixing to leave the park here and we're going to hit the road and head toward Kentucky. I think we're going through Maryland and maybe uh, West Virginia in order to get there. So come on along with us and when we get to Kentucky we'll be going to the Noah's Ark and the cre uh, Creation Museum. So anyway, if you would uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and leave us a comment and we'll see you out there.